set your baseline, okay? So what, what do I mean by that? Well, you know, here's, the, here's what I, um, I guess the best way to, to kind of describe this and where I came up with this. I used to be in a position where I would take out maybe, you know, 50 to 100 people at one time, and this was years ago, and we would take them in the field, a couple buses, and we'd go through and look at a bunch of properties, okay? And I realized on this, the only way I could do this is if I had some type of process to follow, okay? So what we had to work on is, uh, is basically some way of getting to a baseline number and then take it from there. So really what we look at, the baseline number is based upon what you can pay for that property before renovation cost, okay? So I know there's a lot of people out there that use different types of formulas. It might be 70% of something. It might be 65% of, uh, of the after repair value, whatever that number is, okay? Basically, quickly run that number based upon the true after repaired value, based upon the comps that you've driven by, and just quickly get to that baseline. The reason that it helps you so much to have that baseline is because when you're walking into that seller's property, okay, it takes that stress off of you that you don't have to think about all these different numbers. Guys, believe me, I'm telling you this works. I've done this with my own team when I was uh, done a lot of training with them, uh, when we used to do it in the field a lot, we would go out and I would say, look guys, we go in this property, run your baseline numbers, and when we get before we walk in the front door of this property, tell me your baseline. And that way they knew the number. They said, okay, this is my baseline number. So the only number they have to think about is what do you think we're going to have to put into renovations on this? Quickly run that number, take it off of where we're at, and boom, that's where we're at. So that way they're not going through and trying to run all these numbers because it's in a more uh, stressful environment because you're working with the seller, they're looking at you on things, you're trying to figure things out. When you already know your baseline, it's just a matter of really that one number being added in and you know where you're at, okay? So to me, that's a big deal. So remember, add in your baseline, guys. That, that'll help you a lot when you're going out in the field on seller appointments, okay? So the next thing you know is you're, if you're going out there in the field to meet somebody, okay? Remember this, that on the phone, we were talking to that person, whether you or maybe uh, some type of uh, lead intake person, whoever that might be, okay, lead manager you want to call them, whatever, you know, they might be setting that appointment up for you, okay? Well, if that's the case, or you're setting it up, you know, make sure, guys, that when you get in the field, okay, you reset the focus on things. Remember we talked about the focus before? We were talking about it in uh, part one of the sales process. And we were talking about the focus on things we were really looking at, talking about, okay, hey, you know, basically I'm gonna be here for this amount of time, okay? Uh, this is kind of my focus on things, what we're gonna be doing. And this is the action step that, you know, I wanna basically complete. And I want you to do the same thing when you're meeting in, in the field. You're just repeating that over. So I'll go out, hey, Mr. Mr. Seller, I'm Jerry. Look, I think we'll uh, probably take about 30, maybe 40 minutes, okay, of your time. I'm gonna walk through the property. Um, I'd like to be able to take photos of the property, if that's okay with you. And then uh, tell me a little bit about more about the property itself and, and what's going on with things in regard to more of what, what's happening and why um, you're looking at selling. And then um, I'd love to sit down with you and see if we can't work out a plan here together today and get something in the, uh, rolling. Okay, so what you've done, you've covered all every one of those guys. We've talked about uh, the overall focus of things, you know, kind of the time frame we're spending together, uh, what our actual focus is of walking through here, and really the action plan that we uh, you know, would like to achieve when we're all done here on things. Okay, that way they understand. So just think about that. You're meeting somebody at a property. How's that? That's going to make them feel much more comfortable because a lot of times you go out to a property, somebody might meet you there and they go, well, how does this work? Well, you tell them and oh, they understand it. Now you, have, you can feel less stressed about it too because all you got to do is focus on walking them through 
uh, that process of things, okay?